this week on Not Your Average Fangirls. We probably look like the worst people in here. They're like, who let these kind of people in? Like, and they're all friends. We're their guardians. <laughs> they're all friends. Lisa from Blackpink got a shook with her latest dance video. Wusuk returns with a sugary sweet concept. And since it's a slow week in the K-pop world, we go ahead and share some of our favorite concert stories. So check it out. What's up, you guys? It is Not Your Average Fangirls back with another week of K-pop-ness. It's your girl, Kat, and I am currently snowed into my apartment, everybody. Woo! Woo! But it's okay because I got the day off work. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey! Hey guys, it's Cynthia. I am also snowed in. Yep, I hate snow. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's me. I was playing in it, frolicking, and made a snowman. Hello, everybody. It's Terika. I am not snowed in, but there are ice in the road. Ice. And I live in Texas. And that is not okay. Like, I was fighting for my life to get to Walmart so I can get the last minute things that I need because it's supposed to get worse tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday. Do not have the time. It was 80 degrees last week. 80 degrees. Do you know what, do you know what the high is for Monday? 13. The highest 13. And hello, everybody. This is Carolina. Um, it is 80 degrees here. It's been 80 degrees here. And I wish. that's just the Florida way. Well, this week, there's not a lot going on because obviously most of Asia is celebrating um, the new Lunar, lunar <laughs> New Year's. Happy Lunar New Year, everybody. Woo! Woo! I was going to say Happy New Year and good health in my broken Cantonese, but meh. <laughs> no, do it. It's so cute. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Sunny Fai Lux Sentai Gin Hong. Yeah! We love a trilingual queen. Anyway, if you are if you speak Cantonese, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. So there's not a lot going on in K-pop, but we, we're still here. We're still here. We got some special fun stuff coming up in this episode. So stay tuned. Oh, yes. Uh, but let's get through with news right now. Again, like we said, like I just said, not not a lot going on. But congratulations to Itzy. They're celebrating their second anniversary. Woo! <laughs> and we love Itzy. And if you didn't know, that was like our first Itzy! reaction that we like posted all together. I'm pretty sure. You can go check that out on our YouTube because it's still really funny. Um, in some other news, G Soul just joined Warner Music Korea and Good Project. So woo! Yes, King. Yeah. Is he G Soul still or now he's still golden, I think, right? Who knows? Because when I looked it up, it said G Soul this, G Soul that, G Soul the other. So Yeah, because don't nobody know that his name is Golden now. <laughs> You're so golden. Maybe it's like da, da, da. Brian and Young K. You're right. Yeah. Or maybe it's like, you know, P. Diddy and Puffy. Like, everybody just called him Diddy, but he's like, it's Puff Daddy. And like, so Diddy. And then he's like, <laughs> And then he changed it to Diddy. And he was just like, now you can call me Diddy. And now no one calls him anything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now no one remembers that he exists. Um, Bobby uh, stopped his <laughs> promotions. <laughs> she said what? <laughs> she cheered and was like, wait, what? <laughs> I cheered automatically when you say Bobby. But I did see that about the canceling of the promotions. But it's because of the whole kingdom situation that he canceled his solo promotions. Yeah. (sighs) It's fine. It's fine. So he could focus on the, on Icon's comeback too. Poor time. Like they couldn't plan that better. I know. (laughs) I know. Literally. That's why I was just like that, like mm, (laughs) that upsets me, upsets me and my girls because like. He could have had his shine, done his promotions, and be like, woo, yeah, my album, this, that, that. And then they could have had time to go to Icon. He did some promotions, like bare minimum. But, I mean, this is like literally the first album since like 2017. But. Yeah, that's true. (sighs) It's okay, because we're going to get them on Kingdom. So I'm sure it'll be great. So that's more content. I'm excited to see Icon's comeback, though, like when they do come back. I want them to come back with another bop. Yeah, I know. The last like, one was a little, little different. A little different. Yeah. I mean, ever since B.I., you know, dipped, it was kind of like, well, <laughs> what now? But now that we mentioned Kingdom, I'm really excited because I just thought about something. So today I was watching videos of, like, interactions with, like, K-pop idols and, like, 
you know, between groups and shit like that because that's just cute. Friendship is so cute, right? So the interactions we're going to get on Kingdom, y'all. Wow, I just thought about it. Like, Mm -hmm. iconic. Come on. (laughs) I just want to see ATs, like, be friends with everybody. Even though that's going to be Bang Chan. Like, he's going to be friends with everybody. Straight kids and the boys are already friends, so that's going to be chaotic as fuck. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. (laughs) Destruction. Chaos. (laughs) Burn the place down. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited for that, and I'm excited for the performance. Yes. Well, some other content that got dropped this week. Uh, Lisa released a new dance video called The Movie. She's so hot. Yes. Yes, she is. But yeah, but Lisa's uh, new video, the movie, she's just killing it. It's incredible. And she is just so hot and just, yes. wow. Period. I, I want to know how she moves her body like that. I'm saying. I and she be never. throwing it back all the time. I'm just like, you right, small booties, do the serve. Like, yeah, I was do, like throwing do what? Throwing, throwing her hips. Yeah, but she still does <laughs> her it. Her pelvis. She still does it and does it well. I'm just like, look at you, girl. Small butts deserve rights, aka Girl, me. it's like uh, <laughs> Sua from Dreamcatcher. Like, you right? she be throwing that shit back. She be dancing her ass off. And I'm like, okay, queen. We love Lisa, though. Lisa's very talented. Some other women killing it, too. We got twice as Dayeon and Chaeyoung. Um, they covered Switch to Me. This is way better than the original, everybody. Um, they, they looked so good and so cute. They did it all in heels. It was great. Yeah, there was there was a little controversy with that, but, you know. Oh, it, yeah. Oh, what? Wait, I missed it. What controversy? Well, um, one of the girls was wearing a, like, handbook, like a custom-made handbook that looked exactly like one that Blackpink wore and the Blackpink <gasps> oh! stylist, like, customizing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it was a big thing. The stylist literally, like, posted on Instagram. It was like, oh, interesting. And I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, rightfully so, though. Because if yeah. I customize something and then someone just copied it without credit or, like, even letting me know, I'd be pissed, too. Yeah. Yep. So, hold on, because then that opened up another gate. Because JYP released an apology in like negative three hours, you feel, since this got released. And everybody was just like, so you can release an apology for copying clothing. But when it comes to actual serious shit with your artists, you do not say anything. And my thing is, I don't even think it's like the subject matter of what the apology was for. I think it's because it was twice. Because yeah. if Twice would have said some ugly shit, he would have also posted something. But because like it was just like his boy groups or whatever doing weird, like, you know, getting in trouble. He's like, whatever. But anytime yep. Twice is seen in any type of like negative yep. way, oh, he's Captain Save a Ho. Not calling Twice hoes. We love Twice. Loved him. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> but yeah, no, I agree. I totally agree. And I mean, we've known this and like we joke about it, but you can tell that JYP prefers like the company as a whole, as a whole, just gives more attention to their girl groups than they do their boy groups. So (laughs) I know in the industry, it's usually the opposite. So I am happy that the women are appreciated and protected. However, I wish it could just be both, you know? Yeah, just exactly. Pr- protect your artists in general. In the industry as a whole, like in other companies, I wish that the yeah. women are protected. Like I just want everyone to be protected and treated equally. But you know, we're not there yet, unfortunately. I'm saying, like, damn. <sighs> Which is ridiculous, but whatever. Justice for CLC. Retweet. And Preston. And oh God, Preston. <laughs> Even though again, Preston did. Again, Preston did it to themselves, bro. <laughs> I know, yeah, they did. did it to themselves. Preston wow. did it to themselves, just partying every night, getting Ooh, drunk. We over here riding hard, talking about some justice for Preston. How could they do that? And Preston in the club talking about something. Do what? <laughs> drunk. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right, well, that's it for news, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right, let's move on to comebacks. We only have two, and one of them was just like a single release. Um, Mark Twan finally released a solo song. Well, not finally. He's had it before. So Mark Twan released a single with Sanjoy called One in a Million. I'm excited for his Twitch channel. (laughs) (laughs) Dang. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was just there <laughs> the beat, i appreciate the it for what it what it is it's our boy mark exactly doing his thing. 
It's like exactly. the same way. You know how like uh I uh not to trigger anybody, but y'all, we watched we watched this show that Got Seven was on <laughs> and it was so oh, horrible. God, Dream Night. Yeah, oh I God. still never finish it. I watched two, I think one and a half or two episodes and I tapped out. I said no. <laughs> but oh, no. I, I watched I it because I love them. It's the same way. But yeah. you know what? This isn't this wasn't on that level. Like this is better than that show, but you know. Yeah, like this was just the chorus is good and like yeah, the, I was vibing. The, yeah, like the beat is really good. Like I was vibing with the song, but it's just like it was okay. Like maybe he'll find his sound though, because if you think about it, when Jackson first started doing his solo song, it wasn't bad either. But he, it took him Girl, a bit to don't find. Don't even his try. Sound. Papillon was a pop. Like I'm saying not everyone I, liked I, it. I just feel like he's gonna on. he's gonna get into the he's gonna get into the groove like Cynthia say he's gonna find his thing eventually. You know it it takes a minute. Not everybody come out with the bangers. You know the first time around. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're right, you're right. Our first episode was a hot a mess. ass mess. So look a at mess. us now. Don't look it up. Still now. a mess. We're still, still a mess. mess. Right. We're still but a mess, better. but it's a more it's organized a, mess. Exactly. Like back then <laughs> back then we just didn't know. We just didn't, we didn't know. know. You got this you got this, Mark. But I see that. Like, I get it. Like, yeah, like he's starting to do solo stuff because he never really did unless it was something like related to fashion and like photo shoots and things like that, right? So yeah, so I feel like, yeah, like, it was a vibe. If you put it in the background, I'll just be, you know, if I'm doing other shit, like, I'll be like, ooh, okay, yeah, this beat, let's go. But yeah. it wasn't like it's, I'm not going to go and be like, I'm going to put this shit on, like, blast in my car. I turn it up. But you yeah. know what he should turn up? Another clothing line. Please drop another hoodie and sweatpants clothing line, King, because I missed out last time, and it's one of my biggest regrets. You know that he <laughs> did release merch for this song for One in a Million? But that hoodie is two hundred and fifty dollars. I said it's Poor okay. Person. Don't yeah. Don't get too it. Okay. Don't get too much. I fool of yourself. Who's doing this marketing team? Jackson. I, just I know. Don't Who understand. do you think you are, Team Wang? This is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even upset with Team Wang. What you know? What what happened to loyalty? We've been with you since the <laughs> trenches, and now just because your bank, just because your bank account, your bankroll, your statements, your tax bracket went up, don't mean that mine did. <laughs> I'm still the basic girl that was riding for you at Girls, Girls, Girls. We still broke, girls, broke, broke. Girls. So yeah. I did. We still broke, broke, broke. It's true, though. Like, shit. Yeah. Just because you got coin don't mean that we do. You know what I mean? And because you have coin, then you should totally just not make You should give it away for free. Exactly. You know what? I should get my hoodie for free. We're essential. Do it. <laughs> like, Facts. Please. Please. I think everyone who was at the fly tour should get free merch <laughs> for life. Yes. For life. For life. That's for it. Life. Everything you drop, we get one of each. Yep. <laughs> I am excited for his Twitch channel, like on the real though. I think he's really, I think he's really funny. Even if he's confused for most of the time, it's great. Like once he got into the groove of things, it's great. Girl, I saw him playing it among us and i was like bruh you are terrible at this i love he's it just he's learning. new he's learning See, this is why people don't want to play if they're not experienced because you have haters that'd be like I'm not hating. i was just pointing out terica you can't say nothing because you don't even play with us okay you know i don't play because i don't want to be, be attacked i'm gonna be I'm real i became an expert by the end of the fucking game so that's all you gotta do you yeah. said Carolina. Yesterday, y'all just said Carolina didn't know how to play. I still don't know how to play. She don't. <laughs> but she was better at it. She was better at it better. by the end. I am better. I understand. Also, while we're talking about Among Us, everybody, we did post a special Fangirl Friday video of the game. Like, when we played, we played for, like, five hours. So we took a couple clips of that and posted it on our YouTube. Go check that out if you're... If you're interested in this content, like, we'll do it again. Like, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Let us know if you guys are down. Seriously, it was fun. It was great. Our only requirement is that you roll up into that lobby with an idle name. That's it. That's yep. all you gotta do. That's it. Oh, and also have a Discord. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we can talk on there. But, but yeah, but I'm excited for Mark. Like, I feel like you could tell, like, from the his first video when he posted, like, moving back to L.A., you could tell, like, there were a couple shots that, like, they, they felt empty. Like, you know that he thought about this a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, 
what do I want to do and, and all that stuff. So, so if this is what he wants to do and be a, like a gamer and be on Twitch. And I mean, listen, isn't it funny to actually watch people learn something like, cause they just keep fucking up and you're just laughing. Like, oh, that was such a dumb mistake. Like a dumb mistake. <laughs> like boom. Uh, it was Genius. hilarious playing with me. Every time I was on cams, I saw something me. happen. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, y'all are terrible <laughs> at this. I don't like being imposter. I, I like want to be out as soon as possible when I'm in the impo- when I'm the imposter. I like being a crew member. I'm like, ooh, am I gonna die? And I love being a oh my ghost. God. I love being a ghost most of all because then I don't have to like look at the map. I can just float around. <laughs> I know, right? You don't have I to do figure out task. which which door to go in through. And I'm just like, damn it, I never remember exactly. which way to go. I think it's fun. Like my the chismosa in me is like at an all time high, and I love it. <laughs> Like, you just want to see everybody. But anyways, oh, yeah. So also, Mark, Mark has a TikTok, and he doesn't understand what he's doing, but he'll get there. Uh, but yeah, but Mark, um, you'll get there to what sound you want to do. This was, like, all right. And, you know, it's not bad, but it's also not, like, our fave thing ever. Um, so there's that. Uh, for our next comeback, we got Wusak from Uptension. He released Sugar, and boy, Sugar. he went a whole 180 from his last comeback. He really did. I Everybody like, is tired of being sad and dark. They want to just, they want happy times. They want summer to come. They want a redo of summer, first of all. I don't know what the deal is. Everybody's just going really sweet and sugary and pastel. I support it. I'm a pastel kind of girl. I love the look that he did with, like, the little, like, Je- not gems, but like the little colorful glitters on his cheek. On his yeah, yes, yeah! mm-hmm. so, so cute. I so cute. love that trend. I hope it stays forever. Like the whole right. colorful like freckles and splashes of paint on your face. So Hell cute. yeah! But he is so handsome. Like I'm just like I was looking at this video and I was just like, his face is like out of this world. Like he is just so Facts. handsome. He's beautiful. But I loved it. I love this concept on him. Like the whole dance move, like the choreo at the in the chorus, he did like the little hand movement thingy majiggies. Like that that's is so TikTok cool. dance 101. He exactly. Is prepared. There's also this girl, one of his dancers, like when you're looking at the music video, he, she's to the left of him. Um, she looked like she was having the time of her life. She was like smiling and laughing and making cute faces. I was like, she had fun. I support this for her. She needs more jobs. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's booked and busy. But I'm just saying, everyone just keep booking her because she made me smile so much. And it wasn't even her music video. <laughs> but she was so happy. I was like, oh, she's we so cute. We love when I first heard the song, like we were talking about it, but because he says, because I got the sugar. And I thought he was saying, because you got the sugar. And I was just like, oh, okay. But no, but he's saying he got the sugar. He got the spicy lips. And I was just like, hold on. I was just left there staring, like, in, in sh- coated in, like, cuteness and pastel. And then you go and drop these lyrics on me. And I was like, I'm confuddled as to what's going on. But I was That's here for it. This whole aesthetic is being unnecessarily rude. That is true. No matter Drop if the it's facts. pastel right. pink or if it's like midnight black. You should rude. <laughs> he gonna be disrespectful no matter what. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Also, T.O.P. Media, like, what the fuck? Like, literally, he released this and, like, I see no noise about it. Mm-hmm. There's, like, no promotion about it. And I might need that to change. But then again, mm-hmm. look at up tension. Mm-hmm. Are we even surprised with this company? Also, mm. Jin Hyuk is going to be in a whole drama with damn Jae Hyun from NCT. And then nobody knows. Nobody knows. No, <laughs> no promo, nothing, nothing. Come on. Poor MCND. Poor MCND. I feel bad for them. And they have like a loyal fan base too. And yeah. big international fan base too. And I, mm, yikes. Anyways, check out Wusak stuff. He's really good. So talented. And he deserves it. Yeah. And that was it for our podcast, everybody. Check it out. <laughs> Sorry. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Now, nah, um, that was it for our comebacks. Like we said, there was not a lot going on. Next week is going to be wild. So <laughs> pray cry. for us. You already know. Lucy coming back, y'all. You already know what's going to happen. Ooh, Lucy's coming back. We're gonna sipping have... hours. But no, but we wanted to do that something fun because you know, it, it, who wants a twenty minute episode? Like, that's nothing. I mean, you... honestly, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 
but no, but we wanted to talk about, we've said it before, how we wanted to kind of like talk about our experiences with like idols, like either a meet and greet or um, like, you know, the high touch or just like in concert. We have like some really like funny Random. things that have happened random stories so we thought we should share some of those because they're funny yeah. and we hope that you enjoy them god there's so many i don't even know like <laughs> you know what let's just start with ace because that's just like ace ace, ace. there's so many ace stories <laughs> but the 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 start of it all oh ace <laughs> So on a whim, okay, so on a whim for my birthday, what, three years ago? Something like that. Was it? Was yeah, it was about four years. Three years. It had to 2017? be. 2017? Okay, so in the summer of 2018, <laughs> we saw that a group was coming to Vancouver. I live in Seattle. Ace was the group, right? We had just started getting into Ace, and we were like, oh, you guys, let's, like, go see them. Like, this will be fun, right? It's for my birthday. They were coming up to visit me anyway for my birthday. I was like, oh, my God, yes. Let's go to a concert for my birthday. Yes, that'd be amazing. Love that. We were kind of into Ace at this point. We weren't super into it. We're not like we were now. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. This is their first, like, North American yes. performance, this too. This is the so. Sweet Fantasy Tour, yeah. So we were like, okay, like, fuck it. Let's just go. The tickets were really cheap. Like, we're in the midst of buying the tickets. Our friend Kenzie was like, fuck it. Let's just do front row, guys. And we were like, okay, fuck it. Let's do front row. Like, what do we have to lose? Okay. So we get there. Um, a... YouTuber who I will not name try to take my seat from me. It's fine. It's fine. Everything was vibes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then no, the show started and then they tried to move everyone to the center because there wasn't really a lot of people at the venue. So they tried to move everyone to the center of the venue. And I was like, bitch, I am front row. I'm not leaving my spot. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, you could stay. And our seats were in the front row right next to the stairs. Lord, that was such a good time. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't even like it wasn't even like their concert. It was like a convention thing that yeah. they that they oh, do. Oh yeah, that's right. And yeah. and then yeah, so they had like their show in the afternoon, and it was just so like I'm so glad that we did that on a whim and just got like the front row. And then I know yeah. that they like everybody was sitting down when the show was about to start. And we we're just like, oh hell no, we no. are not I was going like, no. no. I'm not and that we type just of like person. stood up. This was around the time where they had only released, like, Calling and Cactus, like, and Star. And that was, like, the only three songs that they had. So they did a lot of covers. And during their Blackpink cover of Playing With Fire, they came off the stage, down the stairs, which we were in front of, Woo! and stood right there with us. And I was just like, ah! And that's the moment that's, that Cap fell That's when it all started, yep. That's when it all started. <laughs> it all started. And we were like, okay. this. I looked at Carolina. I looked at Kenzie, our friend. I looked at Terika and our friend Pana. And I was like, ah, shit. This is bad. This is bad, bad. This is a bad idea. I can't love another group like this. And then during the whole set, we were going off so hard. Everyone else was so lame at that show. If you were at that show, I'm so sorry. But y'all were so <laughs> I'm so sorry, but step up your concert game because y'all, <laughs> nah, hold fuck. on, because the girls that were behind us, they were hype. They were hype because we were hype. Yeah, like, exactly. They were just like, they oh, we saw. like, they stayed with us the whole time too, like for the meet and greet and everything, they stayed with us. Everyone else, y'all were sitting your asses down, like, what? no, I don't know if that's like a Canada thing because me and Terrico went to Vix at that same venue later on, like a year later. And y'all did the same thing. Y'all didn't stand up. And I was like, I can't be doing this. Like, I can't, this is not okay. This is not yeah, okay Yeah, it was real me. weird. Except for that one girl from Texas. Shout out to her. Because she was just as confused. She was yeah. like, why is everybody sitting down? Um, but yeah. So then the meet and greet happened. So we were vibing with Ace <laughs> the whole show. Um, the meet and greet happened. And everyone, again, very quiet, very timid. I was like, I can't be doing this. They're so excited. Like, Ace was so excited. They were yeah, like they so were. happy and so excited. And I was like, nah, we are going to go off when we go up there to meet them. So when we walked up to take our <laughs> group picture, <laughs> <laughs> when we walked up to take our group picture, all of us simultaneously just screamed. We were just like, ah! And we were like screaming at them, and then they were screaming at us, and then we because they recognized them. us from the show, of course. They were yes. like, "Oh my god, yeah." 
because we were hella vibing. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, they, anytime that they would do something, we would be making looks at them or doing, like, signals. Like, we yeah, were just They were dancing hyped. with us. It was a good time. Yeah. It was a great time. They were so performing we for us. This, yes. <laughs> when they got up on the stage and we screamed and then they screamed and then we screamed and then they were like, hey! And then we were like, oh, my God! And they were like, yes! Yeah! So we were like, woo! And <laughs> just like that. That's basically how we communicated in the whole, <laughs> like, great. two minutes. And we were just scree- all screaming at each other. We were like, we love you! They were like, we love you! And then Chani does the one thing, and it is stuck with us in our entire ace standing life, our entire choice life. He turns to Seiyun and to June, and he goes, Hyung, these are my chingus! And I said, oh my god! <laughs> And we're like, oh my god! And we're so excited, and like, our picture is taking unnecessarily long because they want to take redos. They're like talking to us, hanging out. They're like thanking us, and we're screaming and telling each other that we love each other. At one point, we couldn't even get the picture started because after we finally sit down, uh, oh no, after the picture, we couldn't even leave because afterwards, uh, Chani stands up and he just starts clapping for us, and we're just like, oh my god! He gave us a standing ovation. Like, I was just like, I cannot handle this right now. I was literally living my best life. (laughs) And we were just like, oh, my God. And then Dong Hoon and June were just laughing their asses off at us. And BK was vibing with Chan that was vibing with us. And then it was just a... It was just a wild ride. And then Sehun was just in... (laughs) Sehun. Sehun. Every time he shows up. Uh, But Sehun was just in the back so confused. He didn't he know was, what was happening. Good. He was just like, yeah, okay. They and then the second. staff was like, can you guys please get off the stage? And we were like, oh, right. And then Chani was like, wait, we love you. And I was like, we love you. Yeah. And then we were like, we love you. You know that that the video of the little kid screaming at the grandma? <laughs> <laughs> like, that I was us. You. That was us with Ace. They couldn't even get the next group of people on the stage because they kept screaming. <laughs> Yeah, like the next group of people had like had came on the stage already to get their picture, but they were still screaming at us, like saying bye and stuff as we're walking up to leave the venue. <laughs> and the staff is just like, "Can you go? Like, can you guys please leave? Can you exit the venue?" And we're still like, "Bye, bye." <laughs> really we were going up, so the venue is like an auditorium, like a high yeah. school auditorium, right? So. um that's what it looked like. But uh, when we we're going up the stairs, they were still like, we were just like, bye. And they were like, bye. And as the other group of people were coming on and the staff was just like, you need to be, you need to be quiet. Joke's on them because we had to come back around for the high touch. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot that that was just a picture. But yeah, but as we were going up, the staff, you could tell the staff was just like, you need to exit quietly. You need to whatever quietly. And we we're just like, what? And they were saying it in Korean, so Ace would know, specifically Chani. The rest of them were calm, but Chan, that bo- that's my boy. Like, y'all don't yeah. understand. When I say he was the instigator friend, of the whole thing. He really yeah. was, because we were leaving. We were like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, I love you guys! And I was like, oh my God! I love you! And, like, I know this sounds, like, super hella made up, but it really happened. And it was one of the <laughs> best experiences of, like, our concert going, like, our K-pop concert going. And it happened... It definitely happened because a year or so later, they stopped doing photos, I think it was. They did. They did not have another photo op for almost, like, two years. Like, it was bad. No, the funnier part was the me, who was it? We were in line for (laughs) an Ace show, and someone goes, yeah, I heard because of some fans that Ace don't do photo ops anymore. And I was like... Yikes. (laughs) Yikes. <laughs> they obviously brought it back. Like for They did because they me did. and Carolina yeah. uh met them again. But that they didn't do they didn't do No, they didn't, just kidding. You know what though? We had the special like my music takes package thing that had the fan sign and that's why we took a picture. That's so, what it was. Okay. So yeah. I was like, for yeah, the show, I think you only had a high touch. Yeah, it was yeah. only high touch. Which is another story in itself, because the moral of that story is always read before you buy things. Like, don't be impulse buyers, unless you just like to live your life on the edge. Because Carolyn and I bought a whole ass fan sign package and had no idea. We just showed up, cut in front of line, like didn't even know there was a line. Just got in the front and no one said anything to us. And we just 
<laughs> it's because we, we looked like we knew what we were doing. We got in there and they explained the rules of the fan sign. And we were like, oh, this is a fan sign, fan sign. <laughs> like get on your knees and on the table and like have things ready and bookmarked. And like they're signing and writing your name and messages. And we were not prepared. People <laughs> At all. had whole no like game plans, not us. The whole time, they, they were just like, oh, like, okay, like, which, basically, you know, the ace members are like, oh, what picture you want to sign? And I looked, and I was like, just just pick whichever picture you think is good. <laughs> I was yeah, not ready. that was it. I was not ready. And, like, it took me two members in before I was like, oh, they were like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, my God, I have a name. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Address this to me so it doesn't look like I just randomly bought this signature off of somebody. Like... <laughs> But it was lit, like, we had such a good time. But with Ace, like, yeah, Canada, that was, like, our first time, like, meeting them. And after that, I mean, the rest is history. Y'all know that we, like, Bro, we wild so out hard for Ace. For I wild out so hard when it comes to Ace. Like, me and Pana, like, we have... Yeah. So <laughs> on the story again, if you ever have the opportunity to go see A's, please do. They're such a yes, good time. And they're, they're so nice. Such a, they really are. I they're mean, so me funny. and Terika flew to New York <laughs> <laughs> to a messy, 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 messy K-pop convention. But I mean, okay, sidebar. The, what was it called? It was a... Um, K-Expo. K-Expo. You know what? Shout out to... If anybody knows about K-Expo, shout out to you and shout out to the organizers because I felt yeah. really bad. Because you could tell they had their main partnership was Drama Fever and literally <laughs> Drama Fever, the day of the event, announced that they were so like no, no longer like yep. a company. So that means that the money for everything they took with them instead of giving it to the organizer of this event didn't tell her and she had to basically come up with a new like concert venue organizing everything from the beginning in less than 24 hours yep so i can't even imagine the stress that this woman was going through obviously like it didn't turn out this was not the best venue like audio was not there like <laughs> the rose was pissed off so much Heck yeah they were at like the uh, L from Infinite pissed off. He was so mad. But Ace was vibing. Yeah, Ace was fire. Like, Ace we were just was like, vibing. I mean, if there's ever a group that aligns with our philosophy, it's Ace. No structure. No structure. Just vibes. Just vibes. <laughs> they had no structure. Actually, another and that was another Ace story. Carolina and I actually were like the last people because we forgot our tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They were like, do you have your tickets? We're like, tickets for what? They're like, we need to, your tickets to prove that you have this package to meet them. And we're like, oh! So we like run back down the crowds for Mary Ann. She's like throwing us our purses and our tickets. We run back up. And by this time, it's just us, the staff, and Ace. So we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then the funny thing is that there were like maybe like two people in front of us. And then we started talking to one of the volunteer girls. And we're just yep. like, oh, do you like Ace? And she's like, yeah, like I'm freaking out right now. We're just like, oh, we're just like, hee, 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 together. And then all of a sudden, we're just, uh, we hear a staff like, oh, excuse me. And then we turn around and Ace is just looking at me and Tara going like, Waiting all right. It's like, are you, can y'all come please so we can wrap this up? <laughs> like, we're just like, right, right. We need to do this meet and greet. Hi, what's up? Like, I mean, one of my favorite thing about Ace though is the fact that for Pana and Kat, that their biases are always switched. Yep. And what I mean by that is that each of them have a bias, but their bias loves the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so for yes, example, you're June right. loves Pana. Like, he loves Pana with, like, a dying passion. <laughs> June, he is my bias, okay? June, yeah. he is my bias. And I love that man to death, but he don't give a fuck about me, okay? <laughs> I mean, he played he played catch with you that That's you don't true. seem to fucking remember. <laughs> That's true. Dung Hoon, who is Pana's bias, does not pay no attention to him. Dung Hoon, however, loves me and June loves Pana. And I don't know how it happens. Every time we go see them, I think they think that we bias them. They don't Probably. think that we bias yeah. the other one. Yeah, I think they got confused just like, on there. Just like, yeah. no. Which no. is an ace thing to do. If you do, if you meet ace, like, be ready because the jokes are just so funny. Um... June does not know what's going on half of the Ever. time. Ever. 
Um, Dunhun will not be afraid to like laugh in your face. Um, uh, <laughs> Sayun will not speak to you. Maybe two no. words. <laughs> no. Maybe get a uh, hi. How are you? Or uh, yeah, it's uh-huh. so intimidating. Yes. Like, <laughs> like and he he wants to, but he's just like, man, fuck this English. Like he literally <laughs> that's what he's we thinking. We just stared at each other the whole time because <laughs> no one knew what the other one was saying. <laughs> Tanny will talk to you, uh, but you won't know what he's talking about. You know, just go off on a tangent. There was one time we did the uh, ace package, me and Panna, and everyone had already done Chani. Chani was the only one that didn't have people. Me and Panna were sitting in front of him. So we were like, oh, let's, I was like, let me talk to him. So I'm talking to him. I was like, oh, I like your sweater. And we're talking, we're talking, whatever. And I was like, oh, did you eat? And he goes, no, did you eat? And I was like, no. And he goes, okay, after this, you eat. And I said, okay. And he goes, you eat diner. And I said, I eat diner? Like diner food? And he was like, what? And I was like, what? And he was like, I was like, diner food. Like, you want me to eat diner food? And he was like, yeah, diner. And I was like, okay, like eggs and waffles? Like, what? And he was like, what? And I was like, Good lord. Diner food. And then the and then the lady was like trying to look behind to the translator and she comes up and she's like, What were you trying to ask him? And I was like, No, he tried to ask me a question. I was answering it. <laughs> and then he she said that and he was like, No, I told her to eat. She said, he said to eat dinner. And I was like, Oh dinner. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Again, another instance of a saying, fuck this English shit. <laughs> They'll figure it out. They know. They'll get it later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then Byung-Kwan will just flirt with you the whole time. Are we talking about Cynthia in the, the raffle? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what raffle? Right. The ace raffle. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, so basically, one of the ace shows, me, Pana, Kat, we're front row, obviously. Duh. That's how we do it, you know? I don't care if we got- Front row or don't go. <laughs> you guys- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we've been living with that saying since we were like 15 yep like barricade hits different for any show it, does. it always hits different um long story short about the beginning of this story um me and chan were vibing all right he clearly knows he's my man because i have a like i have a, like a little cutout of him um he had he's doing binoculars with his like hands you know and like that's the cutout it's like a meme i cut it out put it like on cardboard and like that's all I put that on the ruler and that's what I'm holding right we're all holding one for reference it's not just me it's me Pana and Kat we're holding each a different cutout of our bias anyway <clears throat> so during the show we're vibing and obviously like as soon as they walk out Chan sees me he sees the poster board he's laughing he waves at me he knows he's my man's anyway so fast <laughs> forward to the fast forward through the show this man He's, like, trying to, like, see someone. Like- we shouldn't fast forward through the show because the show is very pivotal because her and Chan were making eye contact constantly. And he was constantly looking at Cynthia, just putting it out there. I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> put it. Bloop, I'm dropping it in the lake. Bloop, okay. Oh, my God. Just saying. It wasn't just a one-off. Like, he continuously, like, sang to her and was, like, all about Cynthia. And I was like, yes, queen, get your shit. He loves you. Anyway, while continue. while Kat and Pana's biases switched, <laughs> even though they had Literally. like a cutout of them at we the We ain't show. talking about it. We ain't talking about it. So as the as the show progresses, also I have video evidence of this just in case if you want to call me delusional. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Honestly, I looked really good that night. I don't know what. Like my makeup was just on point. My <laughs> outfit was on point. I just want to highlight that. Facts. Like I look so good that day. Facts. Anyway. As the show progresses, he's trying to see something in the back, right? And so he does he does the same thing that he does in the cutout. I don't know if he's like uh, if he like subconsciously does it. Anyway, he's doing it, right? And I'm laughing. I'm laughing because he's doing the same thing as my cutout. I'm laughing, Pan and Kat are laughing. The rest of, the rest of Ace are laughing, right? And Chan looks at us like, what are you guys laughing at? And I'm pointing at the cutout and he's looking at me confused. He's like, "Huh?" And June is laughing and like hits the back of his head like he's just like stupid <laughs> like you're doing it you're doing what the cutout is doing <sighs> anyway bless his soul so then <laughs> so then they do a raffle because you get like a signed poster right and it aligns to like the number of your wristband 
So they they say out the number, right? He says out the number and no one says anything. Okay? No one says anything at all. And then and then he pulls out another ticket, right? And he's looking at me, Pana, and Cynthia, and he's like reading because like the first four numbers are the same. It's only the last two numbers that are different. So he's reading it out. So he's like, oh, you know, like five three nine zero. And then he's like looking at Cynthia, <laughs> like looking at her, and he keeps looking at her, and like he wants her to like give him her number, and I like don't the get number it. on her. She's an that. idiot. <laughs> I don't get what he's throwing down. I was like, Cynthia, your wristband, your wristband. And she was like, what? And I was like, your wristband, what's the number on your wristband? And she's like, what? And I was like, what's the number on your wristband? And she was like, zero, two. So I'm like holding up a two and he's like, two. And I was like, no, zero, two, zero, two. And then he's like, two, two. And then someone else gets the the thing and I was like oh my god I was like no it's just two Chad it's just two and then he goes two two and then some girl's like yay and then he looks at Cynthia and he like looks at us and he just like shrugs and I'm just like Jesus no and it's so funny because he's like he's like oh ah yay <laughs> he tried he said I'll try for my woman but damn I got he really too. did Oh my god, that high touch was great too because it was amazing. It was amazing. We're in line, y'all. We're in line, right? And <laughs> Pana and Kat, they used to do this thing where they like catch. We still do it. Yeah, you guys we still, still do it. <laughs> like, how would I even describe it? You guys like we catch. imaginary throw something in the air and we catch and we do the yeah that thing. Like yeah, the, yeah. So they're doing that <laughs> in line, right? And they're do so they're. I'm facing Ace, like, we're waiting for our turn. Like, the line is going slow. And we're, like, towards the end. Anyway, they're doing that, right? And then June sees, right? And so June, he wants to play. He wants to play. <laughs> and he, like, he, like, and Pana sees this. And Pana throws it, right? And so then June <laughs> catches it and does it. And, like, like Pana and June are laughing. And June throws it in the air for Kat. And Kat has no fucking I idea. didn't. Oh my god. Way he hates me. And so then and so then he got so sad because Kat ignored him. I'm so sorry. He, he just goes like he does the face like oh and he looks down disappointed but then like the fan gets in front of him so he's like uh doing high touch again. And so then by the time I'm like Kat June was looking at you and Kat looks but June is already like already like doing his job, you know. So doing his job. <laughs> Damn I'm dude. I'm so sorry. That's probably why he hates me. Oh my God, I'm, so I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I swear to God I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid. <laughs> and then the funny thing is though that Sayun was doing it and I saw him do it and I did it with him. Oh my god I'm exactly <laughs> um how about we talk about god seven god seven oh my god <laughs> oh god <laughs> how about we talk about how i dabbed in front of god seven oh god in Let's a professional talk about setting <laughs> how terica lost her rings <laughs> oh my god i okay <laughs> so my very first K-pop concert was GOT7 Fly, right? Yeah, this is the that's very what first time met. that I've met Cat. Like, you know Woo! what I mean? Like, it's just like it's. This is like the catalyst for my my life right now. Like, where <laughs> I would have never been on this path not for this concert. So after everything, we get there. Like, we're standing. Everything's great. Like, this is like the best thing that's ever I've ever done. Like, I'm like, wow, I'm so glad I decided to come here. And then all of a sudden, things get quiet, right? So I'm just like, what's happening? What's going on? Like, everybody, they're playing like some fun time game, distracting the audience. And they're like, yay, pick number two. And I'm like, no, this is, this is like, this is all a setup. What's about to happen, right? Because I see the security and they're on their like headphones and like running around and like standing in different places. It's like shit's about to go down. And then the lights dim and shit goes down. And God Seven <laughs> comes out through the audience and they're like walking around and like singing and touching people and everyone's freaking out, right? So I'm at this like 
there's like a guardrail, like because it's like the, the auditorium the way it is, it's like separated into two parts. It's like the bottom half, you go up the steps, and there's like a little gate, and then there's the rest of it. So I am the row after the row of the gate. So there's a gate, a row, and then me. So I'm second row from this gate, right? And it's a huge walkway. I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is happening to me. My first K-pop concert, and like my faves <laughs> are right here in like touching distance, right? <laughs> and as soon as JB and Bam Bam come walking down my aisle the girls from the very top row bomb rush their way down and it's like a ripple effect and when they push their way down i get smashed (laughs) against like the rail and i flip and at this point i am face down ass up in front of jamie and bam bam i am 5 11 i am all appendages i am all legs and i am all arms and i am all fingers and i my, i'm wearing short shorts right because it's hot we in texas bro i have shorts on and like a little kind of crop top like a little peekaboo my ass is hanging out of my shorts my legs are dangling in the air And the girls in front of me are, like, literally holding. They're, like, the only thing stopping me from eating my face into the rail and, like, the floor, right? And they, both of the girls haul me over. And so, they like, I'm like a seesaw. And they flip me up, right? And as I, like, get flipped back up to the original spot, I turn around and I am mortified. Because, you know, I'm just like, oh, everyone clearly saw it. The security lady's in my ear screaming if I'm okay. But what I'm really mortified is the fact that JB and Bam Bam have stopped, have literally stopped singing, have stopped walking, and is laughing dead in my face. There's no, are you okay? There's no, can we get you like a bottle of water, a free t-shirt? Nothing. JB kind of smirks and does like the little, like the nod, like the you good nod and keeps moving. But Bam Bam is dead ass just ha! Like literally the kid from The Simpsons, the ha ha, like that kid in my face. And then he laughs for a good like 30 seconds, it dead in my face. Like not like, oh my God, laughing at the situation. Eye contact and everything. And then he moves on like nothing happened. And that was the very first time I interacted with God Seven. <laughs> And I got it all on video. <laughs> and I, it was the most embarrassing thing. Like I, and like, of course I'm sore the next day. Cause like I almost died. But like that didn't even, that wasn't even the, the sad part. The sad part was like, I'm just like in the air, like legs, ass, everything. They didn't you even try to pretend that. that they didn't see. You know how people fall and you kind of like, Oh God, I hope she's okay. But let me not look at her because I don't want her to be embarrassed. No. Deadass stopped in the middle of the performance. Was probably supposed to be on the other side of the venue by now. Nope. I was so I mean, embarrassed. I mean, seeing y'all. like this, laughing at you was more important than like being part of the schedule. And then it gets better because then me and Kat have high touch, right? And I'm like, okay, you got to shake it off, girl. Like they, it's fine. There's no way that they're going to even like bring that up. So, well, that wasn't what happened. Like, right? They didn't bring it up. But the staff was being really rude and they were like pushing they really girls were. and like saying like, hurry up, hurry up. And the boys weren't having it. At one point, like Jin Young and Kat are like shaking hands and he literally grabs and holds onto her hand and looks at the staff when they tell her to hurry up because they're like it's a high five not a handshake and he like grabs her hand like it's whatever the hell I want it to be so after that or whatever it's my turn and like he does the same thing kind of for me but again I am all legs and arms and fingers so I have long (laughs) fingers and he grabs my hand and I'm like panicking because he grabbed it and the staff is yelling at me so I'm trying to get away like oh god I don't want to get kicked out so when he grabs, he grabs and he pulls my finger and my rings fly everywhere. Again, 5'11", long legs, short shorts. I'm stumbling, trying to pick up my rings and get out the way. So again, face down, ass up. And I'm just like trying to pick up my rings. And then the security guard starts yelling at me. He goes, what's in your hand? What's in your hand? Are those yours? Show them to me. And I'm like, they're my rings. I got them at Forever 21. Because he thought I had stole Jin Young's ring off his finger. And everybody's just kind of looking at me and I'm just like this is not Jin Young was so confused he was like why are you yelling at her I'm, just, I'm like I'm just gonna go home like obviously this was just not <laughs> that was not it for me so those are like that's just two of the three I could think of because then in Houston I cut my whole ass yeah, leg open did. for a bam bam towel and that was equally embarrassing but whatever <laughs> bitch fly was so funny because literally <clears throat> me and Terika and our friend walked into 
the fucking high touch room and Yugi almost first and he was literally sprawled out sprawled on, the, on table. the table like no like standing nothing he was literally just like sprawled out like leg up like hey and i was just like uh, is this how it usually goes <laughs> i was like is this it was also embarrassing because the beginning there was a girl in front of us who like went up to talk oh, to yeah. and whatever she's talking she goes forward so that me and Tara can move forward and then she moves back and she steps on my foot so in <laughs> front of Yugi I'm, I'm like bitch what the fuck yeah. <laughs> he just looks at me like yeah. oh <laughs> he's just like oh it's like that <laughs> <laughs> I was so heated I was like what the fuck luckily for Kat Yugi laughed like he he laughed like yeah you could tell how annoyed I was because I literally was, like, walking up to him to shake his hand. Like, me yeah. and him were about to shake hands. And she just pushed me the sh- fuck back. I was like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> and he just, like, laughed. And she was like, oh, uh, sorry. I was like, nah, bitch, you better move the fuck forward. We have some problems right now Listen, in front of God's can't even be, we, we can't even meet God seven in peace because every time we're ready to, to fight somebody in front of them. Dead ass. Or, I've you know. I've gotten into so many fights at God seven. Or one of us gets super drunk and, like, almost pushes the member off the stage. <laughs> almost, like, yeets him into eternity with a handshake. Bam Bam is such a, a, a twig, yet Carolina out here. All right, in turbulence, let's, let's say, okay, so in turbulence, you know, Houston, it was, it was Terika, me, uh, Kat, and we met Kenzie at that concert. So we're there, and, you know... We get we get a little turnt, so we get we get a couple drinks. Now, mind you, I probably haven't eaten on, on, from like noon, and here I am. Yeah, we had like a slice of pizza at like yeah, one. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and like I here I am just drinking, drinking, and then I was just like, all right, like I need to stop, blah blah blah. Like I'm feeling it. Okay, fine. Bitch was dancing in the middle of the fucking high touch line. <laughs> just like yo, yeah, yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? I get to Bam Bam. I'm like, Bam Bam, you're so cool. And I like grab his hand. I shook him back and forth. Nah, bitch. She's trying to no, like, bro no. hug him, but she's literally <laughs> no, like, no, wait a minute, wait, no, this is not what happened. Carolina obviously does not remember the story because I was behind her. Yeah, I remember shaking him and literally almost like just pushing him off. She went from like shy little like girl because of Yu-Gi-Oh to yep, like, like no that. wait no 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 it was Bam Bam Yu-Gi-Oh then Mark there was someone before Bam Bam because you were not that shy. hype until no, you got to I, yeah, Bam Bam you were so, not- okay so this is what happened so I was super hype Bam Bam like yo what's up what's up what's up Yu-Gi-Oh was right next to him oh and he got, was like, next and then Yu-Gi-Oh was looking at me like what the fuck there was someone before it might have been Jin Young before Bam Bam because you were so like shy and quiet you were like oh, hi thank you thank you and then she got to Bam Bam she was like Bam Bam and she turned into a motherfucking NFL linebacker and high fives this man so hard that he took several steps backwards not one step several steps like four steps backwards I just, I just kept holding his hand and moving it like you're so good you're yeah you're she like, like, I love you. this man into it like into the void like the abyss <laughs> that was the black curtains on stage and then afterwards you could tell that Yugim it was Yugim afterwards he was like yeah. preparing for his life like okay god I gotta get I gotta stand firm you know be a true be a tree and then all of a sudden she's like ah! and she's like oh my god i love you so much and he was so confused and then after that it was just like mark <laughs> it was wild <laughs> she gets like that and like the staff knew and everything because we were trying to sneak the drinks up on stage because for some reason we're like you know what'd be cool bro if we took our drinks on stage. <laughs> like i don't know why we thought that they would let us do that. So then they're like, no, you can't. But then, you know, drinks are like $600 at so concerts. So it's like, we can't waste it. So she's like, I chug it. So she <laughs> chugged it. <laughs> they probably saw that too when we were probably. chugging the drink. <laughs> they probably did. Because we drank that shit right as they were getting away. We were like, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know Mark caught me drinking that show. Yeah, Kat's trying to be the mom. Carolina's over here drunk. I'm hobbling and bleeding down my leg. And it's just like, (laughs) it's a hot mess. No, it was Jin Young. Because I remember when Carolina went up to Bam Bam, he like looked me dead in the face. (laughs) And I was just like, oh, fuck. I was like, I'm (laughs) terrified. The look of fear. (laughs) He did not think he was going to make it out of Houston. (laughs) He said, skirt, skirt. (laughs) 
And then let's move on to turbulence in LA because that one was iconic because our own cat got to go on stage Woo-hoo! with J Bum. I don't know what the fuck that raffle ticket was when we were coming into the show. They gave it to me and Cynthia. <laughs> we almost didn't take them. We almost did not take those raffle tickets. We were just like, oh, okay, thank you. And we went to our seats and we were sitting there and they were like, okay, we're going to call up somebody um to get come on stage with guy seven and we were like oh, okay here we go whatever it's never gonna be us whatever they're calling the numbers blah, 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 blah. then jb calls out the numbers and i'm like ah oh, it's not my number and cynthia goes cat i said what <laughs> she said he just called out my ticket and i was like what <laughs> like it's a secret <laughs> she was like take the ticket go 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 she was like take it take it go and i was like what and she was like take the ticket and go and i was like okay <laughs> I never, I never get lucky like that. I was just shook. I was like, wait a minute. Did he just say, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I was like, did he just say 6873? I have 6873. <laughs> Yo, I'm never going to forget. Like me and Brittany were on the section next to them and we're just looking at our tickets and we're like, oh, we didn't get it. And then like, I literally remember turning to my right and seeing Kat walking and I was like, and I literally hit Brittany and I was just like, it's cat, it's cat. And then literally, <laughs> so, it was cat, bro. I was It was wild out. because they like take you like backstage, whatever. And you like, you're sitting on like the stage end, whatever. And me and all the girls are like freaking out. We're talking. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Like who called you? Like who's your bias? Blah, blah, blah. They were all like, oh, Mark called me, but Jackson's my bias. Oh, Jin Young called me, but Young Jay's my bias. Oh, like yu gi called me, but JB is my bias. And everyone had a different bias from what, or different member from their bias. And then they were like, how about you? I was like, JB called me and JB is my bias. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do? Oh my God. <laughs> and it was great it was great because as soon as uh they came out we're all screaming blah 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 they go to their partner and then it goes one by one that they're presenting each other and cat is last with jb and so when they were like oh when it's their turn me Brittany, carolina we're all in different sections while they're together i'm in the different section and we get up and we're screaming and Brittany's like flinging her jacket around and we're like "Ah, ah." And I remember Mark looked up like, what? Because <laughs> we were making such a big noise. Bitch, they all looked confused. And I was like, oh, it's my cheering section. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my cheering section. And Jackson laughed. And then he goes, what's your name? And I said, cat. And he was like, cat? And I was like, yeah, cat. Like the animal. I did the cat motion with my hand. And then JB did the cat motion. It was a big thing. <laughs> it was all over the interwebs. Because he said like, Nora. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, did, he said yeah. Nora. It was great. I, I, the rest was a blur. <laughs> <laughs> he was so soft with Kat. So that's why it was just like going viral on Twitter because everybody's like, oh my God, he's so soft. Because, um, you know, he's like a very competitive person. But every time it was like Kat's turn, he was just like, oh, it's okay. No, it's okay. Literally, so he was like, can you? I know, he so was like, cute. you can do one. He said, just do one. And I was like, okay. And he was like, oh, yes. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. That was so good. And then the high touch for that was also another mess because Cynthia threw me under the bus with yu gi um, As is my job. All, All right. right. So picture this. I'm a friend of Carolina, right? I see it's yu gi and Bam Bam. And I was like, ooh, 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 fuck yeah. And so I get to yu gi and I was just like, oh, she loves you. Did you know? And he was like, her? And he points to her. And I was like, yeah. And like, I turned and Carolina's already there, right? She's ready to go. And then he, <laughs> and then he was, I don't know if he said, do you love me or do you? And then she's like, I do. And she's like, so, she's like a school girl. Like she has like hard eyes in her eyes she's like the little anime school girl she's like i do she gets so shy around yu like around everyone else she's like whoa, whoa, whoa. but you get her in front of yu gi and she's just like <laughs> yeah. literally and i did that and then i turned to my left and it's bam bam my man so you know i forgot it after that i was like okay bye yeah <laughs> I did that she left me. and i was just I like oh job. like i i just told him i was just like oh like you're my fave i love you so much like i had it was a good show, and he was just, like, smiling at me, and it was so cute. I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to cry. So I get to Bam Bam after, you know, doing my best friend job, and I get to Bam right. Bam. 
and I'm just like, you're a, you're my ideal man. And he was like, what? And I was like, you are my ideal man. He's like, oh, am I? And he, at this point, we had like high five and he pulls me. And so he's like, oh, really? Well, and he's like trying to pull me, right? But right at that time, Jin Young grabs my hand and pulls me because it's his turn. And he pulls me to him. And he's just like, he's like, hi. And I was just like, oh. Hi, and Bam Bam was just looking at him like, um, excuse me. And then from there, I don't know <laughs> because Carolina was after me, so you're gonna have to take over from there. But um, yeah, Jin Young cock blocked me, so yeah, he did. <laughs> and then Cynthia looked him dead in the face and said, "You look like a god." <laughs> <laughs> Bam Bam was probably so confused. Like this girl just told me that I'm her ideal man, and she gonna look at my bandmate right after me. And tell him he looks like a god. This some shit. <laughs> this some shit. <laughs> After he just cock blocked me. <laughs> I just rode the wave. At least when you went up to Jackson, he didn't say, oh, it's you again. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. No, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, because after then, after she got off the stage, Kat didn't say a word. We went to eat after. She didn't say a single word. Girl, she was silent. She didn't. She was processing, I like, everything that had just happened. I could not believe my life. That entire rest of the show, I don't remember it. Like, I don't remember <laughs> anything after that. Like, Cynthia at one point was like, oh, I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up and try to get JB's towel. And I was like, okay, yeah. Okay. I got oh, Jackson's yeah. towel and JB's. <laughs> Because Cynthia ran to the front because everybody ran to the front. And then she ran and she was just like, come with me. And I was just like, what? And then literally a security guard was came up right next to us. So me and Brittany were just like, crap. Like we couldn't leave our seats. This is like what happened, y'all. <clears throat> so I get to the, I try to get to the front, but I can't. So I just get to like the seated section in the middle. And I'm probably like, I don't know, like second row of the seated section. But in front of the rows, it's like a bunch of people. It's like a crowd. I was like, you know what? I'm good here. So I can't see though from like all the people. So I, I get up on the chairs. I get up on the chairs and I catch Jackson's towel and I'm like lit. And then I catch JB's towel. I'm like lit. But then this girl, like she like pushed back and then I fell. <laughs> right? Oh my God. Amazing. I fell on my face and I get up and JP is laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a thing he does like it's a he's thing pointing. he does not just like oh he, he. no he's pointing laughing at me he's <laughs> <laughs> got seven it's like the funniest you, thing ever that i fell and almost died <laughs> Apparently, this is a thing with God 7, because I know there was, like, those other two TikToks where those girls talked about how, like, they fell in front of God 7 and, like, members just, like, died laughing and pointing at them. <laughs> There's, like, no yeah. type of etiquette. Like, let me gently look away or anything like that. It's just like, nah, you dumbass. Right? <laughs> and it's like, they're, point they're at you. That. You're like, okay, thanks. Cool. Fun fact. We didn't know at the time. My, my boyfriend's sister was also oh, at yeah. that show. And we had no idea. Like, we didn't know each other. Like, I was already talking to her brother, but, like, and he had told me, like, oh, that she's into God 7. But I didn't think she was at that show. But she was also at that show. And she was always around us, and we just didn't know. And she actually did run to the front and got barricade, and Young Jay took her phone and then gave it back when when he saw that her photo card was Jackson. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Damn, plain. Yeah. Bitch, I cannot believe. All I remember is like his scent and him constantly touching me. And I was like, this is not okay. I was like, this should not be happening to me. This feels wrong. I was like, this feels like this isn't real. I'm like, there's no way. Literally, his hand was like always on my back. He was always like hugging me or like touching my hand or something. And I was just like, ugh. <laughs> See, so. I can't even imagine. But those are some of our stories. Those are some. <laughs> like, I'm sorry we're chaotic and like all of this happens. But am I really sorry we're chaotic? Not really. But it's just, we just thought it's funny. Like, we, I know that every friend group probably has like really cool experiences that they've had with like related to K pop idols or at concerts. And we encourage you to share those with us because we like. Yep hearing Please about these us. things i love these stories Please. 
Also, we have more for other groups, so we'll probably do this again with all of our other stories, but, like, <laughs> yeah. Because <Yep. laughs> oh, yeah. it's I a lot. Wait. It's just a lot. I can't wait. But thank you if you've listened, if you enjoyed this. And, uh, again, if you have any stories, just let us know. Like, send us a tweet. Like, leave us a comment mm-hmm. on YouTube. Like, we want to know all of your stories that yes. has happened at concerts. And let us know if you guys are down for an Among Us game. I like K-pop style. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Um. So... We're going to end the podcast like we always do with our songs of the week. Um, My songs of the week mostly are Dreamcatcher songs. The first one being Odd Eye. Incredible. Amazing. Everyone should watch Dreamcatcher's Dance Relay for Odd Eye because it is insanity. Also, Boca and You and I have been on repeat for me. Also, Golden Child's OMG. I've also been listening to a lot. Yes, thank you. And CIX, but I already said the whole album last week, so. <laughs> it's okay, just keep repeating This week, it. too. My songs of the week, I have a couple, actually. So, um, I've been listening to a lot of TXT, Woo! and um, specifically Nine and Three Quarters, aka yes. Runaway. That's such a bop. Also, Roller Coaster, I've been listening to a lot. I've also been on a Hiana kick. Like, I have been hey. listening to, like, her, like, last EP a lot. I've been honestly putting Flower Shower on repeat as well. <laughs> I love that song. Cool. I love right? that song. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. And I love that she has a song with her mans. Like, oh, it's so cute. Anyway, so I've been listening to her I'm Not Cool EP basically on repeat along with TXT. I've also been listening to Lucy a lot because, duh, they're yeah! coming back. Woo! They're giving me, they're giving me a birthday present. <laughs> and my one of song of the week is their outro, "Connect with Us." It's honestly so good, and I'm sad that they always give me such good bops for like intro, uh, for the intros and outros, but they don't give me the extended version. Like just. Do it! So my songs of the week, I've been listening to a lot of Taman, so I don't know. Ooh. I've spitted my Taman feels. But, um, so Criminal, uh, let's see. Oh, Idea. I don't know if he, is it pronounced, cause, or is it really Idea? Like, how does he say it? Idea. I know he says it that way, but is it just because he's saying it that way to make it sound cool? Whatever. <laughs> Freaking love that song. And Danger, too. I remember the first time I got Danger. to see that live. Oh, my God, I cried. Um, I've also been listening to Cinema by CIX. Just Cinema. Yeah. Only Cinema. Okay. <laughs> no track it's, four here. Not no, track no. four? <laughs> <laughs> Or track one. And it was just stuck in my head. And, like, honestly, when I was at work, it was, like, the only thing keeping me calm when we were, like, hella busy. So there's that. And my NCT song of the week is Chain in honor of their new Japanese single that's coming out in, like, I don't know, 32 hours or something like that. By the time we hear this podcast, it would have already been out. I've already screamed about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kat and Cynthia are going to do a reaction to it. Um, they better. And, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for Gimme Gimme. Um, for my songs of the week, um, Cozy Pop released a new, like, EP. <gasps> Did they? Um, yeah, it's called Soul Vibes, Woody. Um, so I've been listening to that. Um, and then also I've been in my one on feel, so. Oh, no. I've been listening to Beautiful Part 2 because I, I like pain, energetic, Why? I promise you, day by day, like, there's one on with just so good such a good um, time but i've also been listening to cinema by cix because that song <laughs> is a bop but yeah that's what i've been vibing to um so that was our podcast for the week uh whether you have embarrassing concert stories um whether you threw bam bam off of a stage <laughs> um <laughs> fell in front of any member of god seven fell in front of any member of 17 make sure you always always <laughs> fair, fair on. On.